Hello and welcome back. I'm Dr. Andrew Torchio from Pangea Chiropractic. Let's have a little bit of fun right now while also discussing a very serious form of neck pain or a very serious cause of neck pain that most of you have heard of called whiplash. And I'm going to use my children's toys to help you understand this analogy. If this is my vehicle and I'm in a stopped position and another vehicle is traveling down the road and strikes me, you'll probably understand that force and energy gets transferred. Once again, this one's traveling, boom, hits, and then this one receives the force of vehicle A. If you're like me, which I'm sure you are, you've either probably been in at least one serious motor vehicle accident or maybe multiple uh, low speed accidents and maybe you didn't think much of it. However, recent science from Yale University confirms that if a motor vehicle is struck at just 8.2 miles per hour, very significant and severe damage can happen to you, the occupant in the vehicle. So let's break it down. If I'm sitting at a stopped position and I'm struck from behind, my head gets flexed forward. After it gets flexed forward, it comes up, stretching all of the joints, ligaments, tendons, and muscles, and nerves in my neck, and then it snaps backward. It goes forward, up, and back. So the head gets snapped forward, fatiguing, stretching, and injuring all of the joints on the back of the spine. Then it gets, it gets stretched upward, so it gets elongated, stretching the joints, ligaments, tendons, and muscles of the neck, opening up the disc space. Then it rocks backward, and when it rocks backward, it strains and stretches the front or the anterior part of the neck. That's so important because in your neck lives your nerves, your spinal cord, your discs, and the joints of your neck. And when the head gets flexed forward, it opens up and it flares all those joints, which is the major cause of ligament laxity that I see every day on x-ray. Then it gets stretched upward and then it gets smashed backward and it compresses and jams all the joints in the neck. So if you have a history of neck pain, and you have a history of whiplash injury, and it even could be from things like skiing, falls, bumps and bruises. Whiplash happens um, very regularly outside of the motor vehicle arena. But if you have a history of neck pain and you have a history of whiplash injury, it's likely that your body has suffered some of the damages of the stretching and compression and, uh, and e elasticity or laxity of the ligaments in the neck. If not corrected properly or treated correctly during the acute phases, this can turn into a long lifetime of chronic degenerative diseases. And we now know that whiplash is the onset of many arthritic and degenerative diseases of the disc and also the neck. I hope that this information finds you well. And my hope and prayer for you is that if you've suffered from a whiplash injury, that you seek care from a trained chiropractor, of course, at Pangea Chiropractic. We would love to help serve you on your mission and on your journey to regain your health and vitality and help get your neck pain corrected once and for all.